Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael. You guys are watching IDB. And in this video, I'm showing you some of my favorite hidden and lesser known features on the iPhone 15 Pro. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. The first feature I wanna show you is one of many for the camera. So on the iPhone 15 Pro, Apple is advertising that you can have seven focal lengths, even though we have three cameras. So how are they doing this? Well, if you open up the camera, you're gonna notice at the bottom of the screen, we have four buttons. But hidden inside this one X button is two other focal lengths. So by default, you can see we're at one X. If we click it again, it's gonna to change to a 28 millimeter 1.2 X. And then again, it's gonna to change to a 35 millimeter 1.5 X. Now this differs from a digital zoom because every single photo you take, whether it's in one, 1 1.2 or 1.5 is going to be in the full resolution. So you can have a 0.5 X lens, a one X, 1.2, 1.5, 2x and also a 5 or a 3 depending on if you have the 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max. So it is pretty cool now that we can get a full resolution photo in seven different focal lengths on the iPhone 15 Pro. We do have some options for this inside of settings as well. So if you go into settings and then tap on camera, scroll down and then click on main camera. Here is where you're gonna see all of the options for those different focal lengths. You can turn both of these off if you don't want the option at all. And you can also choose a default. So if you are a photographer who prefers the look of 35 millimeter photos, you can change this default and then I'll close out of the camera. And if I open it up here, you can see the default is now 1.5X. So a lot more flexibility in terms of the focal lengths on the iPhone 15 Pro. Next up at number two is for the action button. The action button is what is replacing the mute switch on the iPhone 15 Pro. And this is probably my favorite new feature of this phone. I have the action button set up right now to launch the camera. You can see if I press and hold on the button, it's gonna open the camera right away. But what I really like about this feature is you're actually able to specify what mode you open up the camera in. So I can change this to the selfie camera, I can change it to video mode, portrait, or even portrait selfie. So let's set it to video, and then I'll press and hold the button. And as you can see, it launches right into video mode. Another really cool feature is that when you have the action button set to launch the camera, you can actually use the same button to take a photo. So if I press and hold on the button, I can simply press the action button to start snapping shots. However, as cool as this feature is, I believe there is a much better way to use the action button. And it actually allows you to have multiple actions for the one button. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video as I'm gonna show you the exact shortcut that I have set up for my action button. And next up at number three is being able to charge other devices using the USB-C port on the iPhone 15 Pro. So here I have my Apple Watch charger. So if I plug it into my iPhone and then grab my Apple Watch, as soon as I connect it, you can see it's gonna start charging up my Apple Watch just like this. This is going to completely change the way I use my iPhone when I travel, especially because I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max with a very large battery. It's essentially like I'm carrying around a little battery bank. It also does work with a bunch of other accessories. So now I'm gonna grab a USB-C to lightning cable and I'll show you how it can charge up the AirPods. So I'm gonna plug in the USB-C end into the iPhone. Then I'll grab my AirPods Pro. And as soon as I plug them in, you can see they're gonna start charging just like this. And this feature also works iPhone to iPhone, but there is also some intelligence built into this feature. So here I have an iPhone 15. Right now my iPhone 15 Pro is at 66% and the battery on my iPhone 15 is at 97%. So when you plug in two iPhones, they are gonna do a little handshake between the two devices and whichever device is lower in charge is going to be the one that receives the charge. So if I plug this end into my iPhone 15 Pro, then I'll plug the other end into my iPhone 15, you can see that now my iPhone 15 Pro is going to be the one that starts receiving power, which is a really cool feature. And then just to show you how useful this feature actually is, you're able to charge a bunch of other accessories. So here I have a PlayStation controller with the exact same cable I used to charge the iPhone 15. As soon as I plug in this controller, you can see it starts charging up just like that. Next up is another one for the camera. So the iPhone 15 Pro has a 48 megapixel sensor, the same one as the iPhone 14 Pro. However, you do get a little bit more flexibility with this new 48 megapixel sensor on the new iPhone this year. 
So inside the camera, you can see on the top right corner, there's a new mode that I have set. It's called Heath Max. What this allows you to do is take 48 megapixel shots that aren't in the raw format. Now this is important because taking raw photos take up a lot of storage. If I go ahead and open up settings, click on camera and then formats, I can then choose pro default. And here it's gonna give us a little bit more of an explanation as to what this feature is. So here at the bottom, you can see just how much bigger the file size is when you're shooting in raw. Even a 12 megapixel raw photo is five times bigger than a 48 megapixel Heath Max photo. So if I turn on Heath Max for my pro default, inside the camera, I can simply click this button and now my iPhone is going to be taking 48 megapixel photos that aren't in the raw format. This is going to be very useful for people who just wanna get the maximum resolution out of their camera, but they don't wanna take all the time and effort to actually editing that photo. So if I click on this, you can see that the image size is 48 megapixels right down here. Now all of these formats are great, but you may be wondering how are you able to change between them without always going into the settings application. And luckily Apple has built this in right to the camera. So if you look at the button on the top right corner, you're actually able to press and hold on it and you can pick any of the formats you want. The next feature I wanna show you also has to do with the USB-C port and it is full compatibility with external SSDs. So here I have a one terabyte SSD that's USB-C and if I connect it to the bottom of my iPhone, you can see inside of the files app here under locations, it's gonna show my SSD right here. And this is going to work pretty much just like any hard drive would if it were connected to your Mac, for example. If I go to my iCloud drive, I can show you how easy it is to move items into the hard drive. So I'll pick up a document just like this. I can do drag and drop, then go back to my SSD. I can drop it into my SSD just like that. And when you have an external SSD connected, the camera app also allows you to record and store high resolution ProRes video right to the hard drive. So in video mode, if you turn on this toggle on the top left called ProRes HDR, you can see at the very bottom, it is now showing USB-C. When you record a video in this mode, it's going to store all of your footage to the actual hard drive and not the storage on your iPhone. You're also gonna notice at the top of the screen, it's gonna show the max amount of recording time. And this is based off of the storage on your hard drive. This next one is very simple and straightforward, but a lot of people who get the new iPhone 15 Pro are wondering, how do I mute my iPhone now that the action button has replaced the mute switch? Well, by default out of the box, the action button is set up to change silent mode on and off. But if you wanna use the action button for something else, you may be wondering how do I turn on and off silent mode? Well, luckily silent mode now lives in control center. It is right here and it can be turned on with a simple tap. The next two features I wanna show you have to do with the battery. The first one is in general and then about. At the very bottom, you're now able to see the cycle count of the battery on your iPhone. Essentially what a cycle is, is however many times your iPhone has been completely drained down to zero and then recharged up to 100%. So every time you do that, it's gonna count as one cycle and you're now able to see this data right inside of the settings application without going into an Apple store or running diagnostics. And then we also have a really great feature in terms of battery health inside of battery settings. So click on battery and then click on battery health and charging and then click on charging optimization. From here, you can see we have a completely new option called 80% limit. If you turn this on, it's going to limit the charging on your iPhone to approximately 80%, and this is going to significantly improve the battery health of your iPhone. I would suggest only using this if you have the iPhone 15 Pro Max, simply because the battery on this phone is big enough where if you only charge to 80%, you'll still probably be able to get through a full day. But if you have the smaller iPhone 15 Pro, I don't know if 80% is going to be enough to last the entire day. So I made you guys wait long enough. Now for the very last feature I wanna show you in this video, it is my own custom shortcut that I have built for my action button. So here inside of action button settings, I have chosen this custom action that I have built inside of shortcuts called orientation action. 
Now I am gonna show you how I built this and I'm also, for your convenience, gonna have this linked in the description down below so you don't have to do anything. All you can do is click the link on your iPhone and install it on your iPhone and you can have it working just as I'm about to show you in this video. So here for orientation action, my action button is actually able to do different things based on the way I'm holding my iPhone. So if I'm just holding my iPhone straight up like this and I press and hold the action button, I have it set to turn on my flashlight. If I do it again, I have it set to turn it off. If I have my iPhone in landscape left with the action button on the bottom of the iPhone, if I press and hold it, it's gonna launch into video mode. If I have my iPhone turned the other way with the action button on the top, if I press and hold, it's gonna launch into photo mode. I also have two other ways I use my iPhone. So if my iPhone is sitting face up on a desk, most of the times I like to turn on some music when I'm just working. So whenever my iPhone is sitting face up and I press and hold the action button, I have it set to shuffle music from my library. So as you can see, it is now playing music from Apple Music from my press and hold of the action button. And then finally, when my iPhone is face down, whenever I go into a meeting, for example, I'll put my iPhone face down, but I'm also gonna want my iPhone in do not disturb. So when my iPhone is face down, if I press and hold on the action button, I just have to press and hold until I feel a vibration. That is going to turn on do not disturb for me. So if I open up my shortcuts application, I'll show you exactly how this shortcut works. It took me quite a while to learn how to exactly build this, but once I got it done, it was so satisfying. But I don't want you guys to have to go through this. So like I said earlier, for your convenience, I'm gonna have this entire shortcut linked in the description down below. That way, all you have to do is click the link on your iPhone and you can have it installed with just one click. So there we have it. Those are some of my favorite hidden and lesser known features on the iPhone 15 Pro. I want you guys to head down into the comments and tell me if you picked up the new iPhone 15 Pro this year and also tell me what is your favorite color. For me, I gotta go with the natural titanium. I just love how this nice matte gray looks on the back of the iPhone. But definitely let me know in the comments if you picked up one of these new models. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, quickly drop a like as it does really help out the channel. My name is Michael with IDB, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.